परम पवित्र बाबा विभूति परम विचित्र लीला विभूति परम ष्टाध मोक्ष प्रदा बाबा विभूति इदमाश्रया लीला विभूति मनसा ओम साईराम श्री सत्य साई परब्रह्मणे नम तपोवन श्री सत्य साई सच्चरित्र पारायणम चैप्टर थर्टीन परम विचित्र लीला विभूति दिराक्युले विभूति विभूति वाट ए मेटीरियलाइज इज ए मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ डिवाइनिटी विथ ए पटेंट सिग्निफिकेंस एज वेल एज सिंबलाइजेशन इट इज सिंबॉलिक ऑफ द कॉस्मिक इमोटल एंड इनफाइनिट नेचर ऑफ ऑल फॉर्म्स ऑफ गॉड Atma or the spirit is what is left when everything worldly and transient has burnt away. In first place it is symbolic of the life death cycle in which everything ultimately reduces itself to as ashes. For dust throw art and unto dust shall through returnest. Ash or dust is the final condition. it can undergo no further change and the spiritual context it constitutes a warning to the recipient to give up desires burn all passions attachments and temptation in the fires of worship which makes one pure in thought word and deed it is a symbol of divinity baba vibhuti cancels cancer once an advocate arrived at prashanti nilayam He was a chronic smoker. Cancer afflicted his throat. Doctors advised surgery along with radiation and chemotherapy. He desired to obtain Swami's permission before the commencement of the treatment. On arrival, the ever merciful Bhagwan invited him into the interview room, asking him to hold his palms together to form a bowl. He materialized and poured a large quantity of vibhuti into them and asked him to eat it all. It was dark in color and tasted like bitter gourd. Swami affectionately cajoled and persuaded and helped him to finish it. After the interview, the man walked out and went into the canteen for a cup of coffee. As he as at it his eyes fell on nearby pakoras, a savory dish crisply fried in oil unable to resist he ate a plateful due to pain in his throat he had not been able to eat properly for a long time despite his keen desire and strong taste for food but now he noticed that he could eat comfortably and relish it he was surprised with his finger he probed inside his mouth at the cancer affected spot he felt no pain at all he realized that the cancer had gone he was overwhelmed the tears flooded his eyes as he remembered bhagwan's mercy when on the next day swami called him again into the interview room he expressed his gratitude to swami and fell on his feet 
he told swami that he was proficient in sindhi and begged to be permitted to translate and publish the sindhi edition of sanatana sarathi swami replied it is only for that purpose that i have made you come to puttaparthi from then on the blessed person has been translating and publishing sanatana sarathi in sindhi dono polo tribal leader surrendered it to him before its reconstitution the region now called arunachal pradesh was formerly a part of assam most of its people are tribals they were demanding a separate state for themselves and were carrying on guerrilla warfare against the government of assam the government made every effort to please them and win them over it spent crores of rupees in their territory on development programs hospitals roads schools and other facilities still the tribals were not satisfied and continued with their separatist demand in this situation one of the tribal leaders fell ill with an undiagnosed disease the government gave him plenty of medical assistance it got medical tests carried out in reputable hospitals in calcutta and new delhi nothing helped he was not able to eat anything at all whatever he used to eat he would vomit it his friends and relatives lost all hope sri raja home secretary in the state had an idea that if the patient could be taken to the divine presence of bhagwan sai baba it might help permission was sought from the government of india ultimately a group of 29 persons including the ailing tribal leader set out in the name of all india tour bharat darshan and reached puttaparthi as they seated themselves in the audience hall swami went to them directly and asked him in hindi where are you from the secretary replied that they were from assam swami said in english go inside so they all trooped into the interview room walking no doubt but almost like running in their delight and eagerness after the public audience was over swami came into the interview room he materialized vibhuti gave it to the tribal leader and directed him to eat it he sat on his throne and inquired what brings you here the secretary explained we have come for your darshan this tribal leader is having some stomach trouble no treatment has helped medical tests conducted in calcutta and delhi failed to identify the disease he is unable to contain any solid food as a result tribal people of that region have lost faith in our medical system and procedures and hospitals this man is a prominent tribal leader and only you can heal him swami assured him don't worry he will be fully cured then swami began to talk to the tribal visitors in their own language he talked of their village and their environment he mentioned how the villagers had thought of building a temple for the sun god and the moon god as he talked swami materialized an intricately engraved circular copper plate 9 inches in diameter on one side the sun and the other the moon were carved he drew their attention to the delicate craftsmanship of the plate and declared that the plate proposed to be built would become known as dono polo meaning the sun and the moon in their tribal language he directed the astonished tribals to install this copper plate yantra in the temple and to worship it regularly he said that worship of god is always beneficial he blessed them with vibhuti prasadam and the privilege of touching his lotus feet the tribals took leave of him with thoughts of overwhelmed with joy and happiness they then made their way to the canteen for refreshments their leader saw some white circular pieces of food and asked that they be served to him the pieces are known as idli a rice and black gram preparation his companions were afraid that this solid food might cause vomiting or terrible stomach ache as usual however since swami had granted him divine assurance they hesitatingly allowed him to consume idli a plate of idlis and the accompanying sauce was furnished finished by him in seconds relishing it he consumed another plateful while his companions watched the unbelieved astonishment this man who had not tasted any solid food for several years ate idli after idli 
a good 32 of them the group felt it was miraculous and enjoyed every bit of it the leader told his friends this is no ordinary man with a little vibhuti he has completely cured me within minutes of a disease i had suffered for years and years there is no doubt that he is god incarnate he talked of the temple donopolo we are planning to build for our favorite deities and created the two images let us surrender to him and strictly follow every word of what he said bhagavan sai's divine vibhuti healed the tribal leader in moments when we hear about this magnificent episode and bhagavan's love and benevolence so readily and profusely showered we are moved to bow our heads in obeisance to him wondrous potency of vibhuti vibhuti the speciality of bhagavan sri satya sai baba not only bestows good health but in a wonderful manner fulfills other needs also patterson was a very successful businessman of canada he travels all over the world in connection with his business on one of such travels he came to india and met dr balakrishna son of professor bhagavantam dr balakrishna invited him to his home the residence was decorated like a temple in the middle of the puja dais there was a throne on which a beautiful photograph of swami was placed patterson was quite impressed and inquired whose picture it was dr balakrishna told him about baba and his divine powers his love and compassion and how he incarnated in answer to the prayers of devout and saintly persons of eminence for bringing about the deliverance of humanity as patterson heard about baba his interest grew he also felt very pleased he asked dr balakrishna for something like a memento or token so that it would serve to remind him constantly about sri satya sai baba he probably expected a photograph or picture of swami but dr balakrishna thought of something more precious he felt that the best memento of swami would be baba's vibhuti so he gave patterson a small packet of it patterson felt somewhat dismayed and asked ashes do you give me ashes to remind me of this great yogi balakrishna gently explained these are no ordinary ashes it is divine vibhuti it is priceless invaluable if you get into some serious trouble and you think that swami's compassion alone can save you put a little of it in your mouth and pray to him patterson returned by air to new york via london he was given a seat among women and children they were making terrible disturbance and noise and he felt unduly disturbed and very uncomfortable as the aircraft was nearing london he suddenly remembered the packet of vibhuti and dr balakrishna's description of its virtues he immediately opened the packet placed a little of the holy powder on his tongue and earnestly prayed to sri satya sai he asked baba to see that he is provided a more comfortable seat at least on his onward journey from london to new york when he landed in london he was surprised to hear his name on the public announcement system the announcement mentioned him by name and directed him to go to the airline office immediately when he reached there he was told that he was allotted a seat in the first class on the london to new york flight he was immensely pleased and offered to pay the extra charges the officer on duty told him to utter surprise that the additional fare had already been paid on his behalf patterson's heart leaped just he consumed a little of baba's vibhuti and remembering the same name of baba he could get baba's helping hand had thousands of miles away and his wish fulfilled he was moved by baba's mercy and love how wonders is the potency of baba's vibhuti it is not only the holiest one but also it cures any ailment however chronic it is and it has the potency of fulfillment or any desire of the ardent devotee what a miraculous one let's daily use it with love and devotion paramam pavitram baba vibhutim 
परम विचित्र लीला विभूति परमाध इष्टाध मोक्ष बाबा विभूति इदमाश्रय साई लीला विभूति मनसा स्मी Our humblest homage to that embodiment of love and compassion, Om Sri Satya Sai Parabrahmane Namaha. Tapo Vanam Sri Satya Sai Satya Ritram. The end of chapter thirteen. Sarvam Sri Satya Sai Charan Arvindar Paramastu Om Sri Sai Ram. Tan.